Panjway District of Afghanistan is the spiritual home of the Taliban. I was leading my platoon on a routine patrol in 2012. For there, it was an ordinary day. Then an IED blew up right in the middle of my platoon. It knocked me down, and when I came to a look down and saw the legs I had used for 23 years were gone. It took 21 different surgeries, about a year, at Walter Reed Hospital to recover. And while I was recovering, my dad got activated. His orders were to go to Afghanistan. I had two pairs of boots when I was over there. One pair got obliterated. The other pair, I gave to my dad. He laced them up and wore them in cobble. He wanted my boots to finish my tour and get a proper exit. It was such an emotional thing for our family. Our family loves this country. Service. My grandfather, my father, my uncle, even my little brother is serving at Fort Bragg right now. We all have to answer the call to duty. And that's why I've decided to run for Congress. I grew up in Northern Wisconsin, playing hockey and football. These people raised me. And when I was injured, they took care of my family. They'd come home and the yard would be mowed, the air conditioner would be fixed. If they didn't have the money to come see me in the hospital, somebody helped pay for it. Whatever my family needed. The people of Wisconsin always put in the work. They do what's right. President Trump is making tough decisions. He's trying to secure our border. He's trying to create jobs, but he needs help. He needs people who come from outside politics, people who don't know anything to anyone, people who just want to do things right. When you see the back scratching that goes on in Washington today, it just makes me sick. The federal government has become an absolute monster. It's because the politicians let it get too big. Our founders never intended this to be the case and it's hurting the main streets of the towns of Wisconsin. My goal is to go to Congress, serve four terms, and be done. I want to do some things that tick off the right people and then be done. We need term limits for everyone, and they can start with me. I'm never going to get caught up in the swamp. My name is Jason Church. I'm willing to serve, I'm willing to fight, and I'm willing to do what's right. And that's why I approve this message. Lace your boots up with me. America needs us all.